All right, back here with round number one of our iconic Masters Rough Draft, and uh, we're going to try this. We're going to trust that we just draw blue mana. We have a lot of blue sources in our deck. If we never draw a blue source, we're punished, but if we get one blue source, we can cycle, we can draw cards, find our bombs. Opponent plays an island. All right. Come on, blue mana. Well, let's get down Blinding Mage. Pass the turn. Opponent, Thought Scours, oh my god. There goes our Elish Norn, unfortunately. We were hoping to cast that. Is our opponent playing Mill? <sighs> yes. I don't know if we're going to have much luck against the Mill deck. I guess we can sideboard up cards. That is not a blue source. Well, maybe it's a good thing our opponent milled us because we're not having any luck finding this blue mana. Mishra's Bobble. Uh, I mean, not especially good. Opponent managed to get down a loser angel. All right, that's a that's a combo, I guess. Bobble angel, get there. Come on, deck, give us our blue mana, please. Opponent draws. Well, apparently all of our islands are on the very very bottom of our deck. <laughs> all right, play another planes past the turn. We do have eight islands in our deck. So we're actually significantly more likely to draw an island than any other card. Maybe our opponent isn't milling. They might just be a random blue-black stuff deck. Alright, well, tap the angel. We need blue mana. Come on, deck. You can do it. You can do it. Jazzy and Thief. Well, we're getting... Oh, come on, deck. Just give us a blue source, please. Oh my goodness. Not like this deck. <laughs> uh, I thought we might not draw blue for a couple turns, but I didn't expect there to be no blue in the top 13 cards. Opponent gets in. They get a free card draw, thanks to our staggering lack of blue mana. Plays a land and passes. All right, there's a blue source. Well, one, two, three, four. Supreme Verdict, you're jank away. Oh my god. That took way longer than we needed it to. Kind of a sketchily long amount of time. Mannequin for our opponent. And Frostlings. Alright, rebuilding. Alright, here comes the blue mana. How do we want to do this? Let's amass the components. Put a... Amass the components on the bottom. Play an island... Pass the turn. Well, we can start going on the Skywise teaching plan soon. Opponent gets in. Four, three. Um, yeah, we'll take three for now. Down to 12. And passes. Well, play the island. Play Skywise teachings. Ooh, pass the turn. Well, that's pretty sweet. Now we can start making... Jin monks. All right, I feel like we came overcame our early mana trouble and are now in pretty good shape. Opponent attacks. Well, let's thought scour our opponent. Make a two two. All right, opponent kills it. Who? We draw an archangel. Get a few cards milled though, unfortunately. Well, let's play an island. Oh, opponent has a consecrated sphinx. We need to be aware of that. We're at nine. Yeah, let's just pass for now. Leave up our repeal. Well, good thing we milled... I guess we're even now. Our opponent milled our Elish Norn. We milled their Consecrated Sphinx. So we both lost some of our best cards. Opponent. Getting frisky. Let's repeal Mannequin. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Kill the Frostlinks. All right, Jesse and Thief for our opponent. And the mannequin. I'll play the island. Let's play Mnemonic Wall. Get back. Hmm. Let's get back Supreme Verdict. And our opponent scoops it up. Whoo! All right, we got there. We got there, we got there, we got there. Whoo! Skywise TJigs was actually super good that match. Maybe we should just be playing both of them. All right. All right, all right. Well... Based on what we saw in our opponent's deck, 
Our setup seems reasonable. We didn't see many counters. I think we're going to bring in another Blinding Mage over a Seeker of the Way. I think we'd rather just be tapping our opponent's stuff and uh, maybe just keep it exactly like that. Yeah, let's try it like that. We got to make sure we don't get got by Consecrated Sphinx. That's one of the biggest risks is we just lose to Consecrated Sphinx. Jeez. Well, it worked out last time, right? <laughs> so I'm for our opponent. I, don't, I guess our Dex is always going to give us only planes to start out, and we're going to have to beg and plead to find blue mana. Oh, play Seeker of the Way. Pass the turn. Come on, deck. Blue mana. Blue mana. Opponent kills our Seeker of the Way. Plays a Bounce Land. We really need our blue mana. Gets in Witch Child tonight. All right, there's a blue source. So let's pass the turn. Now we can amass the components to find what we need. Opponent gets in Witch Isle tonight. We will take it for now. Down to 16. Palladium Mirror. Well, let's Thought Scour our opponent. Mill two Claustrophobias. Yeah, let's plow the Palladium Mirror. Play a land. One, two, three, four. All right, amass the components. Put, I think, Skywise Teachings to the bottom for now. We're not really in a position to start winning the game. We got to make sure we don't lose the game first. Mannequin. Yep. And a land. Bonet gets in with the dorks. Down to 14. Well, play an island. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. Gets in. Well, let's charm the child tonight. Down to 13. Get your Sphinx. Yeah, we're going to dissolve that. Archangel of Thune. Well, let's put it on top and make our opponent... And our opponent scoops it up! Whoo! All right, well, that was, that was a pretty good run for our deck. We kind of just crushed through our opponent's deck somehow. Uh, sweet. Even when missing our lands in our opening hand. Well, we'll be back with round number two. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.